vanished memories. Do you remember anything besides falling? Only that there were surges of light and a kind of pain. So nothing then? The emptiness gnaws at me. It is a constant frustration. You have nothing to believe in. The sword will help. The Horadrim. The Horadrim were powerful mages gathered together by the Archangel Tyriel to defeat the three prime evils, Diablo, Mephisto, and Baal. They devoted themselves fully to the destruction of the Demon Lords and left behind valuable tomes and teachings. How did you become the last of them? My ancestor was the leader of the Horodrim, Jared Cain. When the Horodrim died out, their tomes stayed in my family. I was thrilled by tales of the Horodrim as a little boy, but it wasn't until I returned to them as an adult that I realized they contained deeper truths. Hmm. Huh. <laughs> look at how I look. That's great. I have anti-aliasing, aliasing, gone, aliasing, whatever. It doesn't seem like it. Oh well. Dark Angel, Archangel Tyriel. Tyriel is the angel of justice. He has been helping mankind for generations, though he is forbidden to do so in any direct manner. Long ago, the high heavens and the burning hells made a pact as a result of the Sin War that they would not interfere in our world. The demons broke this pact, yet Tyriel did nothing. The Angiris Council, the archangels that lead heaven, almost destroyed our world once to keep the demons from spreading their corruption upon it. If Tyriel were to act directly, it would alert the Council to the demons' activities here, and imperil us all! Huh. We have something new. I could gain Jonah but too. I wish that Leia could live a different life. A more normal life. But alas, such is not her fate. When I pass, there is none but her to continue my work, and the future of this world hangs in the balance. Hmm. I don't know what would have happened to this town without Deckard Kane. I've decided to write an epic poem on the death of the Skeleton King. All I need to do is find out how he was killed. You could ask the one who did it, you know. He's right over there. And give up my artistic license? Never. <laughs> how are you? Yes, book. Yes, this time turn about four. I can hardly believe it, but the falling star is a man. When Uncle Deckard realized this, he was crushed. I know he was hoping for something more miraculous. Oh, I'm sure there is something miraculous behind it. But we just don't know that just yet. So here we have to follow this road now. If there's a sword here, we will find it. Oh god, what the hell is that? I was able to trace some carrion bats back to one of their nests. What I found shocked me. The nest itself is a living organism. A mature bat that has been mutated by the darkest of magics. I no longer doubt that demonic forces have corrupted these creatures. Yup, that's pretty much sure. Our just reward. <laughs> Oh, 
such sluggish beasts can thrive in any grassland or forest, provided there is enough water. Farmers will recognize these brutes as the savage cousins of the common pack beast, a tame breed that was likely domesticated nearly 2,000 years ago. <laughs> One can hardly imagine the trouble that effort must have taken. <laughs> Two more. Kazra. Some time ago, I revealed that the Kazra, or <laughs> goat men, were originally humans until the Vigerai corrupted them. For many years, these creatures were simpler than the Fajr. These days, having Kazra attacks are widely reported, and the number of fatalities is higher than anything in my records. Huh. Oh, that's... I have heard the most ridiculous tales about travelers being ambushed by vicious trees. <laughs> it, it is too much. Despite their names, the wood wraiths are not plants, but fully mobile beasts who have taken on the guise of foliage to ensnare their prey. Only a simpleton could be fooled by such a trick. <laughs> Well then, falling sword, launch yourself into the heavens and come crashing down on your enemies dealing 1700% weapon damage to everything within 14 yards of where you land. Whoa, that's extreme. Ramming speed, the warhorse deals 515% weapon damage per second and knocks away enemies through which you uh right sure that sounds fun enemies hit by the sweeping attack have a 50 percent chance to be tricked and stunned i like this better Can be inserted into equipment with sockets. Into the helm, that's 5% bonus XP. Sure. Socket to me. Hey. Because it's higher now, but because it increases the effect. Can you see how the grass affects, how the grass is affected? That's interesting. Nice. Fields of misery. Yep. 
Let's go and get it. Because of then. Percent text code. A dark coven has formed in Tristram, and I fear that their superstitious violence may damn the whole region. I discovered very little during my eavesdropping, except that the word Magda was repeated several times. Kill him! Uh. A dark coven has formed in Tristram, and I fear that their superstitious violence may damn the whole region. I discovered very little during my eavesdropping, except that the word Magda was repeated several times in their chants. Oh well, now I journey to the safety of my home, where I may put these worries behind me. <laughs> yeah. We must hurry with the ritual. Magda will be here soon. It is time. What is the seer? Sword glows. Perhaps the goatmen truly were driven mad. Who are you to take what is mine? I am a crusader. Regardless, I have claimed it. I am Magda, and I lead this coven. The shard is mine. I disagree. I, I just... Very well. Let the games begin. I just wanted to same, say the same thing. Fought, but you will never possess the next piece. It has fallen where only the ancients may tread. She is more devious than she appears. Huh. strength and plus 10 experience as well I guess we will go back to town then. Are you ever afraid in battle? No. I feel fear before and after the battle. Take the sword piece back to Kane. Sure. Turning to town. Hi, game. Here is a piece of the sword. It was held by a witch and her coven. Uncle Deckard, you sound like those dark cultists you told me about. Very good, Leia. You have been paying attention. Stranger, does any of this jar your memory? I have no memory of this coven, but I sense a far darker shadow guiding its hand. No strength, but the vitality. So it could be good. Let's talk more. Origins of the Coven. Magda's Coven is a remnant of an ancient religion called the Triune that worshipped the prime evils as gods. Their gods are dead, yet they fight on. The last two evils, Asmodan and Belial, remain. And if either of them are behind this coven, then our troubles are only beginning. Oh, that's not good. What about the sword? I sense power in this twisted metal. 
Indeed, it feels familiar to me, though the rest is still unclear. This is the weapon of a man with strong convictions. Is that what I was? Then what am I without my convictions? Whatever you have forgotten is not lost. It will be restored. Yeah, we will restore your memory. I'm sure of it. Now, Leia, what do you want me to do? Their leader, Magda, said the next piece fell where only ancients may tread. That makes me think of the drowned temple near the festering woods. I remember you telling me about it, Uncle. Exactly, Leia. The temple was home to the Nephilim. Leia, your knowledge could be invaluable. You must go and help our friend retrieve the sword piece. The Nephilim were ancient humans with fantastic powers. Legend holds that they waged a terrible battle near the temple, and that their ghosts still war with one another. Huh. Interesting. Let's repair and salvage.